Over time, many people have mocked the sanctity of the name of God, and each one of them has had to reckon with the gravity of their actions. The same goes for celebrities who have seen it fit to mock God and take his name in vain while also ridiculing those who worship him. In today's video, we're going to show you six of these celebrities who decide to ridicule the existence and the power of God, despite the clear influence in their lives. So let's get right to it. Number six, Billie Eilish. For someone who can actually testify to the presence of the Lord in her life, it's disappointing to find Billie Eilish on such a list. This is especially unfortunate when you consider the fact that she achieved success at such a young age, grabbing award after award. The winner is Billie Eilish! Congratulations to Billie Eilish! That only a handful of her peers can even dare to dream of. So it becomes a sad sight when we watch as such a promising young lady dismisses the glory of God in her life especially when the young lady herself revealed that she used to be religious. As a matter of fact, it appears that fame has replaced the presence of God in her life. Now, despite such a religious upbringing, Billie Eilish appears to prefer spreading messages that are against the gospel in her songs. In the music video of her song, All the Good Girls Go to Hell, Billie Eilish seems to replicate the fall of the devil from heaven. What does this mean? And why would she choose to depict such a character in her art? As if it isn't bad enough, it is believed that the song is a story about how Lucifer represents the evil of climate change while God is a powerless feminist deity that can do nothing to stop this disaster. The blasphemy is frightening to say the least. Even more worrying is that this young woman is already comfortable twisting the gospel to suit her warped agenda. Our only solace is that there is still time to turn her life around. Number five, Demi Lovato. Another person who seems to have turned away from the glory of God despite his glaring presence and the mercy that he has shown her time and time again is Demi Lovato. Not only did she succeed in the entertainment business, but the influence of religion in her life kept her from suffering from her troubles with substance abuse. Demi herself mentioned her spiritual growth on The DeGeneres Show. I got really bad and I asked for help and I didn't receive the help that I... You can listen to her give God credit for the good things in her life in this clip. Grown a lot spiritually, like I started going to church and I just refound my relationship with God and um, so that to me was representative of the Holy Trinity. So as you listen, you can only wonder about how or what could have happened behind the scenes for her to have a complete 180 degree in her attitude toward God. Throwing away all reverence she had for the Almighty God, she went on to record an album titled Holy <laughs> And even more so, Demi seems to have discarded her faith by blurring the lines in terms of her sexuality by coming out as non-binary. One day, hopefully, she can find her way back on the path of righteousness. Number four, Christian Bale. Despite being the bat that wasn't born into the darkness like some of his greatest adversaries, Christian Bale sure seems to have a lot of creativity stored just to make a mockery of God. He doesn't even care about doing it on one of the grandest stages you can reach as an actor. While receiving a Golden Globe Award for his role as former U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney, in the movie Vice, it made sense for Bale to make this statement during his acceptance speech for the award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Musical or Comedy. Just listen to what he decides to say in front of the world. That's right. While he was receiving an award for his good work, Christian Bale decided to thank the devil rather than give glory to God. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. Whether he meant what he was doing or he was cracking some sarcastic joke about having to play the controversial protagonist of the award-winning movie, such speeches make it clear that he is not a child of God, and perhaps this is just another case of your heroes living long enough to become villains. Number three, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar might be the greatest rapper of his generation, but he sure isn't the greatest at exemplifying how to walk with God. You may think that might be a harsh assessment, but let's take a look at his conduct during his performance at Glastonbury. The first thing that anyone would notice about this performance is that he wore a crown made of thorns. Now you might think we're reading too much into it, but truth be told, 
The fact that the crown was a crystal crown made of diamonds that cost a whopping $3 million speaks against everything that Jesus did for our sins. While you might want to avoid accusing him of making a mockery of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, you cannot ignore the fact that he followed this questionable behavior by using songs filled with profanity to honor God. Add the fact that the stage performance involved his wearing of a bloodstained shirt as he protests for the right of women to get rid of their pregnancies that haven't reached full term. You're left to wonder whether or not this man truly loves God. He might think that he is honoring God, but those that know how to love God will not be fooled. Number 2. Haley Bieber Because this young lady professes to walk in the way of the Lord, Haley Bieber's entry into this list is actually quite a disappointing one. It isn't as if she doesn't have a great reason to be thankful for God's presence in her life. After all, anyone who was around in the 2010s could tell you how God saved her award-winning husband from having a life that spiraled out of control. Justin himself would tell you about how the love of God ultimately forced him to change his ways. As such, it becomes a bit daunting to watch as Haley Bieber adopts a pro-choice stance following the recent overturn of the Roe v. Wade case. As controversial as the result of that case may be, it still doesn't make it for a follower of Christianity to depart from its principles. She even goes as far as signing petitions such as the Bands Off Our Bodies petition in support of the act of abortion. This is a clear violation of the teachings of God as Christians are taught to value all life, no matter what stage it might be in. A depressing act of mockery because somebody like her should know better. Do you want to know about more celebrities who lack respect for God? Why don't you like and subscribe so you can gain access to more content just like this? Number 1. Barack Obama One other entry that makes one shake their head in disappointment and disbelief is that of Barack Obama. Once the leader of the free world and the beacon of hope for many who look to him as the symbol of the turning of the tides against the hate of racial discrimination, it's a shame that even Barack Obama would see it fit to ridicule the presence and might of God. Despite claiming to be a Christian himself, the man thought he was onto something when he advocated for same-sex marriages. It's a victory for gay and lesbian couples who have fought so long for their basic civil rights. Something that most definitely contravenes some of the most integral principles of the Christian religion. You can hear him in one of his speeches as he makes a mockery of various teachings in the Bible as he implying that not all tenets in the good book should be adhered to. Clearly ignorant about what the Bible teaches, it might be best for him to avoid uttering such words before he ultimately attracts the wrath of God himself. Feel free to explore our previous videos if you want to get closer to God. Until next time, goodbye.